guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome like subscribe and turn your notification on so that way when i upload a new video you'll be the first one to see it if you are a returning subscriber hey boo um this is a monthly reset tomorrow is august 1st so we got our agenda book got this from target um and it's ready to get some new notes in there and kind of get planned you know get them off plan so i like to just kind of you know do my personal goals my health goals my work goals financial goals important dates and stuff like that um i am going to be starting a new workout program that's about eight weeks long so i'm going to be writing down like what day is going to be the different programs and things like that i've also been doing a bible study in my bible for she reads truth and it's been on trusting god and circumstances and battles and things like that and what's cool is because oh, i can't I, it's over there but my mom and my dad bought me and my husband these braces that says um i am stronger than the storm and i just feel like that was just perfect like that's just perfect for a lot of things that me and him have been going through so um let's get ready to start doing a weekly or a monthly reset and just kind of rain down the plans for the month um goals for the month and then also planning out the work week or not the work week you know just our week in general oh okay oops sorry that was my phone i am about to start planning my week but today we are editing video and then i would like to give my dog a bath but we're gonna see how today goes and wash his bedding can y'all hear that let me shut the door he be having his t the tv so loud he be having it so loud child like he can't hear it um and then I'll prep breakfast and lunch for next week so i'm about to really just kind of plan out the week on like what's coming up what's going to be happening it's going to be a new month so you know we're going to be doing that do like a facial shave and the oil that I use is the um, Coco Palmer's facial oil and I like to make sure that I have a lot on there because I want it to be slick and I do this once a month and I started doing it when I um, 
have my Val Renewal because I heard that it helps your makeup like go on there really smooth. So this is what my base looks like. Super greasy. Look like I'm fried to get some chicken grease. Um, and then I take one of these type of razors. You can get these at the beauty supply store. Um, and then I hold my skin. Let's see if I can try to zoom you guys in so you can see. But I hold my skin kind of taut and I'm going to put you in the camera or in the, um, mirror so you can actually see what I'm doing. Hold the skin kind of taut. And just kind of go down. I'm not a professional. I mean, I went to school for this, like for esthetician, but they don't teach you how to like do stuff like this. Do you see all the hair? Can you see that? Do you, let me, do you see all, do you see all the hair right there? Oh my gosh, I am hairy, honey. Ugh. On top of the marks that I have all on my neck, that I'm super insecure about. I find that when I do this, it definitely, um, my facial creamers and stuff, they definitely lay on the skin a lot better. And I like it. I don't find that I have more hair that grows back. I don't find that I have anything that's thicker. I don't find that at all. You just be real careful. So, like I said, just hold the skin kind of taut. I'm sure there's a better way on how to do this, but this is the way I do it. <laughs> so. This is literally just the way I do it, so. And then I make sure, because I get the little bitty hairs that are, you know, on your skin, because I put skin stuff there. And then I just go over and make sure I don't be getting my hair. Sometimes I do get my eyebrow, I try to trim that up a little bit. So. This is going to be gross, but, ooh, let me unzoom you guys. <laughs> Back to reality. Let's do that. So, this is how much hair. Let's see. Can you see that? Uh, uh, gross. <gasps> gross. So, that is what I do. So, now I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face off.
that my face is washed off or rinsed, I have like this bump. Can y'all see this? I don't know if you can see it or not, but like it's not a white head, but it's not even ready to pop. And I want to pop it, but it ain't going to pop. Oh, my skin feels smooth already. So now what I'm going to go and do is I usually do a scrub, but if I do this, I'm going to do the scrub. This is the kind of scrub that I use, but um, is it going to focus? There we go. So that's the scrub that I normally would use on my face, but I'm going to actually put on the Laneige uh, Water Sleeping Mask. You guys seen me use that before in my previous nighttime um, routine a video that I've done. So I'm just going to put this on because I don't like to do a but oopsie. I don't like to do a lot of heavy like creams and folic acids and you know things that are going to be kind of harsh to the skin. Since I kind of just took it through a nice, nice good shaving off. So that is what I do. And then I'm going to grab me some chapstick, which I love this stuff. The Vaseline. This rosy lip. I love this stuff. I think this stuff is amazing. I don't like the tube. The tube is trash. The tube is trash to me. To me. But I know people that like it. So now we're going to do a little chitty chat and we're going to talk about what we have planned for the month of August. Okay, so what I wanted to do is kind of sit down a little bit, talk to you guys about like what I do far as my reset monthly planning. I know there's a lot of videos out there that show people what they do. A lot of people usually clean up, they kind of reorganize. I'm one of those people that do that all the time. So that really didn't resonate with me that much. I mean, they do, but... I clean up and I organize all the time. So what resonates for me is I plan out my things that I know is coming up for the month, things that I know that I need to kind of work on. So, so for me, what I do is my little notes that I'm going to talk about, but I have my agenda book like I showed you guys in the video and I have my whole month planned out. So what I have it is um, things that I want to do for the month is I want to stay consistent with consistent. Why did I talk like I had a lisp? Consistent <laughs> with my Bible study, consistent with my uploading on my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my fitness, nutrition, um, things like that. So I just kind of wrote out some different things that I have going on for the month. And then I also have a... I also have like a little planning thing that I set up. To where I kind of write out like, uh, what's on my lip? Okay. Where I kind of write out like when I start my vlog, when to end my vlog, what other videos are going to be uploaded. Um, and then I kind of do that. I, for the month, what I'm doing is I'm doing a book. So one of the books that I'm reading for the month of August is Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Shearer. I cannot say her last name, but this is the book. It's Dr. Tony Evans, uh, Tony Evans' daughter. So this is one of the books that I'm reading for the month. Something that I'm working on, trying to make sure and get, uh, trying to get back into uh, my walk with God and you know discerning the voice. Because sometimes as you get older and you stray away and don't really hear his voice as much and kind of spend time with him as you used to when you were younger sometimes the devil plays tricks in your mind and start having you thinking things is being said and it ain't being said and you start questioning things so i mean reading this book and then i also started out let me get it it's called the 12 week i don't have like the cover of it so i had to get google it but it's called the 12 week year y'all this book has definitely been a game changer for me they had a couple of a lot of key notes so what i did is i kind of wrote down some notes um that i felt like was really strategic and things that i'm trying to work on for the month um so i'll just go over like for the things that because i felt like those were like super key things so the things i'm working on for the month of august is strong desire which means you basically need to have a clear and personal reason on you know what you're doing and it has to be meaningful um keystone action you need to identify the core actions um that will produce results at the end so whatever you're working on for this month you want to make sure that you have like core reasons on like why you're doing it like what's the meaning you don't want it to be something that's like frivolous or that's going to go away after you reach it um three is count the cost we know that whatever we dedicate our time to that's going to be the main thing that we're going to 
that is going to cost us is our time that we don't get back so you want to think about that and then also write down all the other excuses that that's uh, think of all the other excuses that is going to come with that when you write down like your goals for the month you know i can think of fitness let me tell you today I could tell you 10 reasons on why I did not want to work out, why I did not want to do this video, why I wanted to come home and take a nap, but I had to remember that I had the next step, which I'm about to say, which is act on commitment, not feelings. I need to act on my commitment to myself that I was dedicating myself to my fitness journey, that I'm dedicating myself to producing videos for YouTube. I'm dedicating myself to reading my Bible. So. I had to keep telling myself I am acting on my commitment, not my feelings. I had to say that over and over and over again <laughs> until it started working. And then I had to tell myself, like, I am excited to work out. It actually really works. So that is something that I'm working on as far as the 12 weeks, um, 12 week in a year. Um, as far as my YouTube, starting up a schedule, kind of getting in more into a routine of doing that. Bible study. I read my Bible every morning. Um, I have a study that I'm working on right now and I use the She Reach Truth app and um, I use the She Reach Truth app. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to do, but there is a couple of them, but I have been working on the one that I have did that I just completed actually at the end of it was Trust in the Lord. Um, and another one is the Psalms of Gratitude. So I just started that one, but I do want to do another one because this one's only 13 days long. Um, and this is kind of, if you can see the bottom, that's what that one looks like. So that is pretty much what I do for my monthly reset. Like I said, I kind of just go through a Bible study for the month, find a book for the month, do my skincare that I normally start at the beginning of the month and things like that. And then kind of get an organized plan. So as always, I thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video.